All right, so business closures and sales for PPP and EIDL. I mentioned this a little bit earlier. Guidance is really lacking on this. It's not clear, but in your loan documents, there may be stipulations that uh, require you to get bank uh, approval uh, before you have any kind of sale or closure. Um, and that will also involve the SBA. So closing or selling your business is not as straightforward as it once was. The real risk here is that they could just call the loan and say, give it all, give it all to me. And if you spent it, uh, that could be a problem because they, if you're trying to sell, there's no personal guarantee. You've used up all the money and you, um, sell the business, they don't know anything about it, they could come in and, and uh, put a lien on the business. So that would not be popular with the purchaser. Uh, so make sure that you keep them in, in the loop um, around closures and sales, because I, I know that we're entering a very uh, difficult time for a lot of operators. And we are gonna see, uh, I think, you know, a pretty good amount of closures. And so you're gonna wanna make sure that you're in lockstep with your bank if that's something that you're considering and your attorney. And as I mentioned, the guidance is really not clear on this uh, as to what you can do. Uh, we've been working on this for a couple of months. So, um, and we've got great attorneys working on it. It's just not very clear um, what's going to happen. And I know there was a congressional her uh, hearing earlier this week, the last week of September um, and uh, Senator, uh, replied and, and said that they were really hopeful to have an answer on some of this very soon, uh, what can happen here, because it's going to leave people in a real lurch um, if, they, if they can't get out of their business and they need to. Uh, and then if they got a larger um, above the 200000 that involves a personal guarantee, uh, that becomes particularly sticky at that point. So, um, Lisa, um, have you received more questions regarding PPP and EIDL? Yes. Um, if one of the questions is if we got a grant before the PPP, that means that the PPP is not forgivable even if you meet the other criteria? The amount of the grant is not going to be forgivable. So if you've got $10,000 grant, uh, that's going to come right off the top of the EIDL or the uh, PPP loan application and not be forgivable. So they, the real thing here is you can't double dip between the two programs and that's what they're trying to prevent is the double dipping between the two programs. And the next question, uh, does the deduct deductibility status change after the PPP is converted to a loan? Mm, a little bit unclear on the deduct, oh, the deductibility as far as uh, the expenditures go. Uh, if, you're, if you're converted over to a loan, uh, the expenditures are because you're not going for forgiveness. That's really what that is about. Is they don't want you to, at this point, the way the rules are written right now, is that um, you, know, you don't get to write off those expenses that you get forgiveness for. So once you, once you um, have it converted to a loan, you would get to write off those expenses, yes. So payroll and things, because there is no forgiveness. And um, a question about I, the EIDL loans, EIDL loans. Once you've used up your PPP funds, can you use EIDL funds for payroll, rent, et cetera? Yes, from what I've seen, it, it, is, a, it is a working capital loan. And once you have uh, used up your PPP loan, you should be able to use those uh, EIDL loans to keep going. It's really that those loans, the great thing about them is they're really meant to get you through an economic injury. So it's, it's whatever you need for working capital to keep the business going. They don't want the business to fail. And they propped it up with the PPP. They're coming in over the top of the EIDL to make sure that you can get through this economic injury because it's severe, as you know, uh, especially in our industry. So those loans are really meant to uh, be working capital loans. Once the PPP money runs out, um, you should be able to use those for the same things to keep the business going. Okay, those are all the questions we have for now. Okay. All right, so let's talk about what happens after EIDL and PPP 